You look so cute, Dr. Carolyn Champion. We are live on Facebook. How are you, beautiful? I am good. How are you, Bishop? I am well. I am well. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) I am well. I am well. Listen, um, we are live on Facebook, so we're going to go ahead and share. We're going to go ahead and share and give uh, the folk time to get in. So I'm going to share this right now. All right. So hold tight. Yes. You all come on in. We're going to give the people a minute to just kind of get in here. And we're going to begin to share. Hey, Facebook land, how are you? Welcome to Talkaholic. We are live and on the air. We're just sharing right now. So as you're coming in, please speak to us. Tell us uh, where you're from. Tell us who you are. Go ahead and share it. Share it to your pages. We got a hot topic tonight. Oh, we gonna spill the juice tonight. It is Talkaholic. We are on the air. We're going to ask that you share, 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 share. All right. So give us a minute to share. Give us a minute to share. Our virtual uh, guest is on the line. She's on with us and um, she is ready to discuss our topic on tonight. I see y'all coming in. I see you. As you come in, go ahead and speak to us. And I am going to take a minute to share. I see y'all coming in. It is good. It is good. I tell you, it's hot out there. How was everybody's day? Yes. Let me know how you, how your day went today. All right. We are, we are sharing. We are sharing. We are sharing. Yes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. We are victorious in him. Yes, in him we live, move, and have our being. I see y'all coming in on the line. We're going to ask that you share. Speak to us. Let us know you're there. I see you coming in. We're just going to take a minute to share. Awesome. Awesome. We are sharing, sharing, sharing. Sharing. God is good. God is good. We bless him. We bless him. We bless him. We are sharing. We are sharing. Good, 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 good. Awesome. One more, one more share. As you're coming in, uh, let us know. Talk to us. Comment. Let us know you're there. Let us know you are there. Awesome. Yes, 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 yes. I see y'all coming in. I see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on in, like, share. We are ready to get it in. We are live on tonight. It is 7.01. We're going to give you just another minute or so before we get started so that you can share this live on tonight. God is good. I thank you all for logging on and I thank you all for tuning in. Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, speak to us. Let us know you're there. Dr. Champion, I just want to know, can you hear me really good? Can you yes, hear me I really can. good? I can hear awesome, you. Awesome, awesome. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. All right, we are going to, we are going to get started. Yes, thank you all for logging on. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, yes. You are now viewing Talkaholics, hosted by Kingdom Empowerment Illinois Region. I am your virtual host and jurisdictional servant, Apostle Designate Tracy Raper. How are you all doing out there in social media land? Uh, Listen, I just want to let you know that Talkaholic is a webcast talk show where we talk it out. Oh, yeah, we talk it out tonight on any and all things current, 
any and all things cultural and any and all things spiritual. Oh, I thank y'all for logging on. Thank you for tuning in. Listen, Talkaholics can be viewed monthly. It can be viewed monthly via Facebook Live, Zoom, and YouTube. And guess what, y'all? You can also download this live and take it with you everywhere you go. All right? Don't forget that. You can download it. So you may not get a chance to listen to the whole show tonight, but you can download it and take it with you everywhere you go. Also, people of God, I want you to check out our website, our website, www.kingdomempowermentfellowship.com. Once again, that's www.kingdomempowermentfellowship.com. Uh, also, I want you to type one, two, three in the, in the chat. If you can hear me, type one, two, three. Listen, if you desire prayer, if you desire prayer, or it, just feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to reach out to me. You can email me at keillinois at gmail.com. Once again, that's keillinois at gmail.com. Uh, listen, once again, when you come in, let us know you're there. Type one, two, three if you can hear us. And also, let us know you're there. Tell us where you're chiming in from. Yes, yes, yes. We got an awesome topic on tonight. We got an awesome topic on tonight. We're going to talk about it. We're going to chat about it. We're going to expose that devil tonight. All right. Yes, we are. Listen, our topic on tonight is you can't see hell and expect heaven. What? I'm going to say it again. You can't see hell and expect heaven. The danger of word curses in holy matrimony. The danger of word curses in holy matrimony. That's our topic on tonight. And our virtual guest, Apostle Dr. Carolyn Ransom Champion. She's a consultant and CEO of Maximizing Organize, Organizational and Kingdom Leaders, better known as MOKL. Yes, Dr. Champion has and is working in the field of human services, trauma, addiction. And she's been doing this, y'all, for over 20 years. Listen, y'all, I don't play. I bring the heavyweights, okay? I bring the heavyweights, those that know what they're talking about, those that have experienced, those that have gone through, those that have the credential. Yes, Dr. Champion is dedicated to restoring families back to a sense of empowerment by training and developing strong, holistic, godly leaders. And she is, y'all, not only that, but she's an author, several books. And her latest book, which we're going to chime in a certain section tonight, when you're covering, when you're covering, when you're covering is holy, when you're covering is holy. Dr. Champion, how are you, woman of God? I am great. How are you doing? Awesome, oh, awesome, awesome. Listen, greet the people, Dr. Champion. Greet the people. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? I'm excited to be here. I um, I just want to chit chat. <laughs> I want to yes. have some fun and just have some rich dialogue about just anything and everything pertaining to holy matrimony and just the surrounding variables that sometimes we don't identify are very influential and to the status of our marriages. Yes, yes. So we're going to talk about it tonight. I thank you all for logging in. Thank you for tuning in. I see you. I see you, Mother Elizabeth Bryan. Listen, uh, uh, introduce yourself. Let us know you're in. Uh, type one, two, three, and let us know you can hear us. Listen, we're going to dive in on tonight. We're going to dive in with our subject. Listen, you can't speak hell and expect heaven. And our subject on tonight is the danger of word cursing in holy matrimony the dangers of word curses in holy matrimony and like i said in the intro dr champion has written a book entitled when your covering is holy when your covering is holy and she's got several uh chapters here but we're gonna deal with in this book chapter number two concerning marriage chapter number two concerning marriages. Once again, you're listening to Talkaholics, and I am your virtual host and 
Pastor Apostle Designate Tracy S. Raper, and we have on the line with us Dr. Champion, Dr. Carolyn Ransom Champion. Uh, and so we're going to cover chapter two, uh, Dr. Champion, if you don't mind, we're going to cover chapter two in your book, When Your Covering is Holy, where you talk about marriage, okay, where you talk about marriage. And in your writing, in the book, you talk about five principles, five principles that you are, that you believe are significant to marital covering, okay? Five principles. Number one, you gotta know your role. Number two, never be unequally yoked. Number three, the bedroom is undefiled. Four, guard your heart. Five, and not any in any particular order, guys. And five, last but not least, our topic on tonight: stop speaking word curses over your marriage. So, Dr. Champion, what I would like to see happen is that you go through each of these principles, and we're going to conclude with our topic the la as the last principle. But go through each of these principles and tell us your heart why these are significant to marital covering. The first one, know your role. Why is that important? Um, hi, once again, um, this Apostle Desnick Tracy, it's an honor to be here. And, and this is the thing, as an apostle, not only a doctor, but as an apostle to the body of Christ, um, it is very significant that in any uh, spectrum of relationship and engagement that we know our role so that we won't be misaligned that will actually offset any uh, union, if, if you will, not only in holy matrimony, but also in any relationship. But because you have identified this particular chapter, uh, knowing your role, I think that a lot of times, depending on the culture that the husband and the wife have actually been exposed to, um, as they enter into holy matrimony, they're bringing those variables with them. Um, and what I, and, and let me just kind of go back and do a disclaimer. Sure, uh, yeah. Because I am not, I am currently not married. I have been married and some way may say, well, what gives you the authority to actually speak on marriages and holy matrimony? Mm -hmm. So when you've been married and, and it hasn't been successful, mm -hmm. then you know what not to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that again. Say that one again. When you've been married and it has not been successful, then that allows you to know what not to do. I agree. Around. Yes. Yeah. Um, and and I'm and as you become a student of the word of God, God has not been shy in laying down the biblical principles on what the marriage arrangement and the holy matrimony needs to look like. So okay. knowing your role, knowing, first of all, the husband has been assigned and designed, handpicked and chosen by God to be the covering. So mm -hmm. what does that mean? That means that the covering is the one that is shamar, that is protecting any infiltration, anything coming in, getting to me, his help me. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, uh -huh. And anything prematurely exiting that is premature and not in a stage or disposition to actually be able to uh, respond to the warfare that's assigned to covenant. Please understand that the enemy has been assigned to covenant and does not like covenant. So anywhere yeah. he finds an opening. Yeah, okay, yeah. The covering, man of God, you are the covering, you're the head. Yeah. And it doesn't mean that women, that we are weak and that we are fragile, but we're precious enough to be entitled, to be covered and to be actually uh, protected by you. Oh my God. Wow. Um, That's good. That's good. I, I, you know, knowing your role and just because just as myself, just because I may be an assertive woman, mm -hmm. uh, a woman that has been called to be a leader in many portals does not ever supersede the authority of my husband. 
Yeah, and that's good. That we, I think that we sometimes we get that confused. Say, for instance, uh, Apostle De Designate Tracy, mm -hmm. say, for instance, you're an Apostle Designate. Say mm -hmm. that your husband is a pastor. For mm -hmm. some ungodly reason, we have this uh, assumption that, um, you, you know, apostles are more, uh, you, you know, we, right. we have this respecter of titles. Right. And so if my wife, if your you as a wife is an apostle and your husband mm -hmm. is a pastor, unfortunately, a lot of times some women may walk in a, a spirit of uh, pride and feeling that they don't have to submit to the authority of the pastor, not realizing that everything that she needs to even be able to effectively operate in that position of an apostle, her mm -hmm. husband carries. Come yes. On, yes. Oh my God. Carries. That's good. So, That's good. So we have to make sure um, mm -hmm. that we stay in our role. As the, as the wife, we are the help me. We have been designed and predetermined to actually be the vessel that helps our husband meet, help meet the vision that God has preordained for us. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, oh, whoa, no. that was good. Oh, no. Wait, wait, do that whole help, do that whole help oh. me thing again. Do that again. What was, come I, on, I, run I, that I, back I, again. We need to understand that as the help me, God has handpicked, chosen, and selected us to help meet the vision for our husband, the man of God that God has ordained for our lives. Wow. And the, the husband's vision is coming straight from God. And we have been equipped to help him meet that vision. Oh my God. We wow. Need to, come on now, help wow. me. Wow. We need to understand that when uh, that when we, we came from um, uh, 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 the rib, <laughs> come mm -hmm. on now, that thing that is closest to his heart, we have heard that before. But I need you to understand something that's even a little more spectacular to me than that, mm -hmm. is that we have actually, uh, we there, there is only a certain person that's going to fit come on now with the husband so that means that i am uh, i am perfectly wow wait a minute oh, oh, hold on hold on come hold on, on. <laughs> hold on wait back up you said that there is only a certain person that's going to fit wait a minute 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 wait a uh, with the husband, you you know, a lot of times we uh, wow we, we we like to get married because we think they're cute, and, and you know, and because of wow. this, that, wow. and the other. But I'm here to tell you that when God arranges and sees holy matrimony, He yeah. sees purpose, and so He has already identified the help meet what's in me that's going to help my husband meet the purpose that God has already preordained and set before we was even thought about to reproduce his glory on this side of heaven. Huh. Wow, listen, y'all, listen, this is Talkaholics. Y'all listening to Talkaholics tonight. I am your host, uh, virtual host on tonight, Apostle Desiree Tracy Raper. And y'all already know we got my girl, Apostle Dr. Carolyn Ransom Champion on the line and she is dropping nuggets like never before. Listen, y'all need to like this. Like it, send up those hearts, send up those thumbs up, share this, share this to uh, married couples, share this with uh, engaged couples, share this. We have nuggets that are going to help bless kingdom marriages on tonight. Listen, y'all need to go out and purchase this book, purchase this book when your covering is holy. Now we just gonna hit it and quit it now y'all. Y'all got to get out there and buy the book, all right? Amazon.com. <laughs> Amazon.com. Dr. Carolyn Ransom Champion. Amen. When your covering is holy. All right, Dr. Champion. Never be unequally yoked. Go. Come on. <laughs> you know. Never be unequally yoked. You know, uh, uh, one of the associations that most of us have with being unequally yoked, unfortunately, it's just been to our disposition of faith, which is very essential. Now, don't get me wrong. That is very important. Um, however, I, 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 you know, God allowed me to take a little bit further. It's a given that um, you need not be unequally yoked in your um, faith, in your uh -huh. belief, in your faith. Yeah. Yeah. However, um, we can actually be unequally yoked in a lot of other areas that we kind of, what I have found, and, and, and let me say this, because I'm a therapist too, Take your time. Mm -hmm. and I also am, um, I do provide therapy for married couples, 
one of the patterns that I have noticed is that um, while a cup, couple feel that, okay, well, he's saved and I'm saved, so that's good. I and that's it. great. However, there's more to it than just that. Or being unequally yoked is actually, we can have a difference of uh, perspectives and understanding that could actually be a recipe for disaster before mm. the marriage can ever get off to a great start. So mm. if I have certain uh, values and if I honor certain uh, you know, ways of life that maybe my husband or the wife does not, then that already, what is the word say? How can two walk together unless yes. they both sleep? Mm -hmm. So if we are having a difference of opinion and if we believe that it's okay to, uh, you know, one may believe that, well, I, I, I don't think that we should do anything on Sundays and another, and the wife may believe, well, um, that's religious. And I, I, I feel that we should be able to, uh, you know, the Sabbath day is just what I'm, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So people, uh, and that's why premarital counseling is so significant because you get an opportunity to be able to hear and identify where those differences may be that you may not even consider that begins to peek their head and bring the vision My in God. that marriage. You're My unequally God. yoked. Uh, you know, you may have certain... Uh, we bring our cultures with us in me. I yeah. don't care how saved we are. I don't care yeah. how much we love Jesus. Uh -huh. There is a part that's following us into the marriage. Not only are we, not only our past experiences, um, but just the culture that our from our childhood has actually this this innately within us that stuff actually begins to manifest itself. Uh, when you're making decisions, when you're, when you're thinking about how should we raise our children? Um, you see what I'm saying? Different viewpoints that are really important to the point that they can become deal breakers later. These are things mm -hmm. that needs to be identified early on, unequally yoked. Uh, you know, my values. So, go ahead. No, 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 go, go, go ahead and finish. Go ahead and finish. You, you know, my value system uh, may be totally different than yours. I may, mm -hmm. I may like you. I may see the potential in you, um, but I, you know, there may be certain um, aspirations that I'm not willing. And I think that we, we get it twisted a little bit sometimes when, uh, you know, what God has mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. revealed to me is my purpose. And that goes back you know, to the beginning, you know, is God the foundation of this holy matrimony? Yeah. Or is it based on um, variables that really God had nothing to do with as being the author of it? Come on my now. God, my if, God, my God. So we have to be very honest with ourselves about, um, you know, if I have been, if I know that I have been called to travel the nations, uh, I, my husband, if, if he's my husband, God has already prepared him to be able to uh, be, have a grace for that, if you will. Mm. And, and see, and, and if he doesn't, then that means that somewhere along the line, I have to really begin to be honest. See, we make things complicated as yeah. human beings yeah. because we try to make things fit, you know, for a lot of different reasons that God has never ordained to fit. Wow. And we invest all of this time and energy. And then we get to the place where we realize, regardless of what we do in our own works, it's not working. <laughs> you know? My God, my God, and, my God. And, and so then we begin to um, become bitter and resentful and, and it begins to reproduce itself in just so many other areas where if we had just took the time to allow God to be the one that yoked us, we would not have to be concerned about being unequally yoked. My God, that was so powerful because when we hear that and when we refer to that scripture, we always refer to it in the spiritual aspect or the religious aspect, same church or same God, but mm -hmm. it actually goes way beyond that. Do you uh, think like I think? Yeah. You know, right? Uh, it goes way beyond that. So that's that's that was powerful, Dr. Carolyn Champion. And if so many people realize that when they're preparing for marriage, well, so if you're you're looking for a mate or you're looking for a wife, uh, 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 this 
scripture. This principle is very, very key, and it is very important. Equally yoked, be not equal, unequally yoked, goes way beyond just do we go to the same church? Amen. <laughs> do Amen. we believe in the, the same? It go the same God. Do we, it goes way beyond that? Absolutely. You know, I, I, that's powerful. All right, let's go to our. Our next principle. Oh, this is a good one, y'all. Y'all ready? I see y'all on the line. I see you, Dr. Renee Lee. I see you, Elder Pastor Gail Hood Williams. I see y'all on the line. Listen, send up those likes, send up those hearts, send up those shares. Oh, this is good stuff. Make sure you all share it. Make sure you all share this. Our virtual guest on tonight is Apostle Dr. Carolyn Ransom Champion. She is author of When Your Covering is Holy, and mm -hmm. we're covering the marriage chapter in her book. Listen, go to Amazon.com and buy that book. Go to Amazon.com. When Your Covering is Holy, Dr. Carolyn Ransom Champion. All right, Dr. Carolyn, next principle. The bedroom is undefiled. <laughs> Okay. The okay. bedroom is you, undefiled. Look, you're getting ready to lose all your views right now. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, God. The bedroom. Listen, y'all, go get the book. Y'all go get the book. It's, it's a good one. It's a oh good my. one. Oh the my. bedroom is undefiled. Hit it, honey. You know, um, this topic right here is such a burning and a burden on me because what I have witnessed firsthand is how leaders, a lot of time, they get in the pulpit and they preach their personal experiences or opinion. Yeah. And, while, and, and, and then they twist scripture to substantiate it or support it. And for me, I keep it real simple. Uh, Apostle Destiny Trapsy, mm -hmm. the word is what the word is. Yeah. The bedroom is undefiled. Yeah. So I, I you, you know, um, because this is uh, a PG, setting I, I mean, <laughs> you know i'm gonna, it's, I'm gonna keep, it's talk of holes, honey we're talking about it all oh we're gonna, gonna spill the clean. juice tonight i'm i'm gonna keep it clean and i'm um yes. but if anyone needs to have a private conversation with me about what yes. i'm really mean with that yes. but i'm saying that i i can't if you are two consenting adults mm -hmm. two consenting adults marry consenting adults not only uh -huh. that, um I believe that your bedroom is undefiled and I, I can't, I'm not going to allow a, a preacher in the pulpit to tell me what I can or cannot do sexually with my mm -hmm. husband. Wow. Okay. That's good. I, you know, I, I'm That's just good. keeping it. Um, That's you, good. Because we are now, if there was some type of pressure uh, from mm -hmm. one party, mm -hmm wanted to be participatory and and mm -hmm. some and, and um some type of sexual expression or intimacy right. that the other partner is not and we're just talking about sex and we talk that's about, it let's talk about, talk about it okay yes. <laughs> and and my thing is that um if if now if there if you were not consenting if you were not in agreement now that's a whole different story because correct, then the other one becomes the foul Mm -hmm. Okay, let me say this. Mm -hmm. That bedroom is also a safe place. Yes. That bedroom needs to be a safe place for the yeah. husband and the wife. So yeah. we're not bringing our past experiences mm -hmm. um, if there has not been an agreement with our, with our husband or our wife. And, our, and, and any, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, do you not realize that God has made the bedroom as an opportunity to uh, let there be just uh, um, naked intimacy. And I say naked literally, but yeah. spiritually, where whatever insecurities I may have had as a woman, when I'm with my husband, he takes them off away oh that's good now. oh he my god that's away. good and vice versa that yes. bedroom is undefiled i'm look when i get in the bed with my husband i'm not getting in the bed i shouldn't be getting in the bed with a uh, sally sue victoria and lisa <laughs> my god come on and come when on he gets now. in the bed with me come he on. shouldn't be getting in the bed with joey david uh sam and ricky come <laughs> on so the bedroom is undefiled because it's holy matrimony and it's an expression of nothing but love. Come on now. Yes. 
and on. any insecurities oh that my that God. wife has as a covering, Come the on. husband as a covering in the bedroom to cover it all. That's it. So wow. I, there's no competition in the bedroom. It's under five. There's no insecurities in the bedroom. It's under five. Wow. Uh, there is no uh, just doubt or fear. It's under five. Wow. That's good stuff. Oh my God. Listen, I see y'all on the line. <laughs> I see y'all on the line. Y'all blowing it up. Y'all blowing it up tonight. Listen, send up those hearts. Send up those thumbs up. You are listening to Talkaholics. And I am your host, uh, Pastor Apostle Desiree Tracy Raper. And our virtual host on tonight, yeah. guest on tonight is Apostle Dr. Carolyn Ransom Champion. And listen, we're going to, uh, we're leading up to our main topic, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, the dangers of speaking word curses. Uh, in holy matrimony. You can't speak hell and expect heaven in your marriage. So we're leading up to that, all right? So y'all listen, y'all hang with us. Thank you for logging on. Thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and share this virtual broadcast. All right, we're moving on. The next bullet point, Dr. Champion, mm -hmm. guard your heart. Talk to us about that one. Guard mm -hmm. your heart. Um, because from it, flows the issues of life. Mm. Um, you know, we have to be so intentional that when we are, when we're talking about a husband and wife, um, we cannot allow the enemy um, to come in, you, you know, and we're, and, and it's leading right into the next. Uh, mm -hmm. We have to be very careful that um, if we're having a disagreement mm -hmm. that that disagreement is just about that disagreement. And it wasn't the disagreement that you had with somebody else five years ago that you never got healing from. Wow. And, 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 and so now that thing has triggered and activated something that's unresolved and something that, that lacks in healing um, because the heart was not guarded and it actually still is reproducing the issues of life that has nothing to do with your current mate. My God, wow. Guard your wow. heart. Um, don't allow situations and circumstances to reproduce into mm -hmm. areas of anger and bitterness and uh, you know all of those variables that are destined to be covenant breakers. Yeah. Guard your heart from the sensitivities of, you know, give each other the right to be wrong. Don't allow, yeah. uh, you know, your heart to be, so, uh, first of all, guarding your heart means actually being honest with yourself about what is still tearing in your heart. Mm. Uh, you know, I have to be honest with myself about if um, when my husband or if when the husband's wife, when we're having deep rooted conversations, what actually uh, am I hearing? Uh, you know, mm. so it, okay. It, it, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, what that's actually good. am I hearing? That's good. Guard your heart. Don't yeah. allow um, the situations that are temporal. Don't allow mm. the, the simple way, situations that are temporal. Don't yeah. allow them to have long lasting effects to the point that it can be damaging to the, the covenant and the holy matrimony. Wow. Guard your heart. Guard your heart from external uh influences come on now. Mm -hmm. yeah that's and, and good it kind of goes into what we're going to talk about next yeah uh, got your heart from uh you know the naysayers and people that want to come and actually share information to you about your husband and people yeah. that want to come to you and share information to you about your wife guard your heart because see the enemy always knows uh where we're bruised at and yeah the enemy knows it a lot of times better than we realize he does so when and so if there's if it's a sensitive place then the enemy knows to just pick there pick there yeah you know i saw uh joey the other night um, yeah was 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 that um his assistant he was with and it may really well you know really was but wow. you, you see how i'm saying so you have to guard your heart uh from the insecurities mm, that, that's good that's good you that's know good. we have to first of all be very honest and intentional 
and yeah. with ourselves about where we're bruised at. So yeah. we have to guard our hearts from the external variables that have already been preordained and pre-assigned to actually bring discord and division to our covenant. You have wow. to guard your heart from that. Some wow. of these people speak into your marriage that are not qualified to do so. Whoa, say that one again. Say that Stop one. Stop letting again. people speak into your marriage that are not qualified to do so. Stop wow. It. Stop it. And, and, you know, like I keep saying, it runs into the next, our final. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you That's know. good. That's good. I stop that. That is one of, when I, as a therapist, yes. so many of my clients that are married, it has actually been, uh, I'm sorry. It has uh -huh. No, you're good. Been, Go ahead. Uh-huh. It, it has, a lot of their issues really are from, uh, busy bodies. <laughs> wow. And, and, yeah. And, yeah. You know that. Yeah. Those, and sometimes in all fairness to them, they don't even realize that the enemy is using them as a, a part of a part of his work or the enemy's work to actually even yeah. sabotage the marriage. A, a lot of times because they are miserable and unhappy yeah. that, they, that they will actually, um, uh, you know, um, reproduce that, try to, you know, that saying that misery loves company. M misery so loves you, company. Yeah. You have to be careful who you receive counsel from. You have to guard your heart because if you're, if you're asking or sharing information with someone that actually is in a, going yeah. through uh, a situation where uh -huh. their marriage might be suffering right then, then that's probably not the person that you need to be communicating with about your marriage because they, and, and they will, and because it is a familiar spirit, because they mm -hmm. are familiar with you and, and your conversations before. Um, and, and, and I have to say this sometimes without even intending to, they will begin to sow seeds of discord just by their opinions in a, at a yes. time of yes. Yes. When you're vulnerable. So you have to guard your heart. Um, you have to use wisdom. You have to be discreet. Wow. 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 This is good, y'all. Listen, Dr. Champion, you talk a lot, and I often hear you say that just even in our personal conversations, a lot about the, some, the things that we do, the negative things that we do, we, we uh, cause ourselves to partner with the soul of the enemy. And I think I'm saying that right. I really want you to elaborate on that one as we go forward uh, and what that really means. Because a lot of times we don't realize that when we're arguing, when, we're, when we uh, 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 come into agreement uh, with what the enemy is doing in our marriages, in our lives, in our homes, in our relationships, we're actually partnering with, with that enemy of our soul. Yeah, of our soul. Yes. And it's devices. And if we can just understand that and get that in the forefront of our mind, how much better our relationship would be. So I really, 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 really want you to elaborate on that because I think that is a very, very important point. So uh, we're going to talk about that as, as we go a little further. Our final bullet point, y'all. Listen, this is Talkaholics and I am your virtual uh, host on tonight, Apostle Designate Tracy Raper. And we have with us on tonight, our virtual guest, Apostle Dr. Carolyn Ransom Champion. I see you all on the line. Send up those hearts, send up those thumbs up. Our topic on tonight is uh, you cannot speak hell and expect heaven. Uh, the dangers of word curses in holy matrimony the dangers of word curses in holy matrimony and that is our final point on tonight uh and i just wanted to kind of go over a few of those other bullet points dr champion so that we can lead up to this uh stop speaking stop speaking word curses over your marriage Stop it. I just want to read something, uh, Dr. Champion, and then I'm going to let it rip. I'm going to let you go. Okay, you're going to let I'm it rip. All right? I, want to, I want to read this. All right. The Bible, and these are some notes that I found as I was studying this. The Bible speaks of tremendous power of words. 
both for good and evil, for blessing and cursing. All right? God spoke creation into existence. His words have ultimate power and authority. Watch this. Since we are created in the image of God, it stands to reason that our words carry power. Okay? Our words don't carry power at the same level of God, but our words are powerful nonetheless. Okay? Our words are powerful nonetheless. What is a curse? A curse is a supernatural force to bring harm, to bring destruction to a person's life. You can certainly elaborate on this as you, as you go in. Curses may manifest in various ways, but be sure that this is not some superstitious belief. Word curses are real. Word curses are real. Let me say that again. For those of you that are listening and watching us in social media land, word curses are real. The Bible speaks about blessings and cursing. Okay, and both of these are a real force. Are you living under the power of a word curse? Dr. Champion, let's talk about our final bullet point. And this is so serious. Mm -hmm. Speaking word curses over our marriage. Go ahead. You know, and, and I concur. Um, this is one of the, um, this is so significant because a lot of times we make the enemy's job very easy. Uh, because, Whoa, that's good. That's good. Because that's we good. actually um, curse ourselves. Mm. by what we say out of our mouth. You know, I, I'm, I'm uh, Apostle Destiny Tracy, as you know, I keep it real simple. Yeah. I, I, the word is the word. I, I don't try to change it or make it anything other than what it is. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and the, my word tells me that there's life and death in the power of the tongue. Yes. And God says that once I confess him as Lord and Savior, that I can decree a thing and it shall be established. Yes. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't doubt that, uh, you know, and, but that doesn't mean that I don't fall short and not monitoring by not monitoring everything that I decree. And a lot of times I wonder how did these certain, why these certain things established in my life, what are some fruit that I'm seeing because these are seeds, words are like seeds. And so when you release them, they actually reproduce mm -hmm. after their own kind. They take life. Um, and a lot of times we, you know, we've, we say things without an intent to be malicious, but there's a problem. See, once you have actually been engrafted into the kingdom of God and actually partner uh, and you've confessed Jesus as Lord, uh, then mm -hmm. you automatically we have a certain level of authority and power uh -huh. <laughs> you know, without yeah. our permission, without our permission. So once uh, we, so when we say a thing, see, you know, the gifts and callings are without repentance. God doesn't, you know, say, well, not this word, but that word. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. we decree will be established. And, and that thing, and, and if it's a, and he lets us know. And that's why he tells us actually to uh, tame our tongue. It talks about taming the tongue because, you know, this, this little thing here, it actually has the power and authority to create atmospheres. Come My on. My God. Wow, that's good. That's good. That's good. You know, That's good. I, I, I need you to understand that we are heirs and joint heirs so that whatever is yeah. in my daddy, uh, come on now, it's in me. So wow. just like he said, let there be, uh, he, he allowed, he imparted that same ability in me. So when I say you make me sick, come on, Whoa. Now. come on now, when, yeah. I, when I say that I wish you would just leave, my God, or I wish you were dead. Oh my, I, I didn't even want to say it. Wow. So we don't realize that there I hate is, you. Come on now. Wow. Uh, uh, you uh, look, and, and as women, uh, we can emasculate men. 
with words to a point yeah. that yeah. they actually shut down. Mm. They shut down. And, and we think that just because it was in a moment and we, and we really didn't mean it later on, yeah. we don't realize that that thing has already been released and it is actually now forming, taking on a form of life. And so that man, and even though, you know, uh, a couple of hours later, a couple of days later, we had made up and we kissy poo and yeah. that, thing, that thing has still landed. Mm, a, seed, a seed, a seed, a seed, baby. it's a seed, now a today seed. it's a seed, and you know, it's a seed today, so I'm saying, I'm saying some things, and, and you know, it gets in my spirit, because mm. the husband, you got authority to get in my spirit, and I got authority to get in yours, so my thing, so that thing is planted, and then, are uh, we good, and then, so it's a seed, so then, uh, a couple of weeks later, a month later, we may have another verbal misunderstanding, yeah, yeah, uh, so, and, and we begin to decree <laughs> some things out of our mouth again, profess some things that are not favorable, that are deemed to be word curses because they are not, they are not partnering with the promises of God or even uh, who God says that we are. So wow. then, there goes the water. So that seems mm. watered. Now mm. that's watered. So we have to real, and, and, I, and because I know um, I don't believe rather that it's yeah. intentional or malicious. We have to be more sober minded and we have to be more mature and being quiet. Sh be, you know, I don't like to say shut up, but just shut mm -hmm. up your mouths. When, yeah. um, you know, there is not, um, you, you, there needs to be an, uh, enough. Uh, so a lot of times we respond in pride and, and impulsively, you know, impulsivity yeah. is in the way. Yeah. So actually just beginning to um, practice the principles of Christ and, and just when we're in heated or uncomfortable moments, knowing that it's okay to be quiet and revisit some things and, and rerun and then discuss that thing when it's not in the heat of the moment, because in the heat of a moment, let me tell you something, just like words give life, just like in the heat of the moment, there's another type of intimacy that gives life. Does that make wow. sense? Wow. 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 We need to yeah. understand yeah. that our words are seeds that birth. Mm. Our words are seeds that birth. And our we words wonder, are seeds that birth. We wow. wonder why our environment, our, our marriages are uh, unhealthy and they don't actually uh, bear the fruit of mm -hmm. what we deem to be uh, covenant and, you know, just being as one. That is because there have been too many word curses that we have spoken over our own marriages that are now beginning to reproduce themselves. And I'm wow. gonna tell you another one, another thing, something that I wanna encourage us to stop doing. Um, when we are having issues, uh, going to telling big mama and going and telling uh, you know, family, you know, where, where, where uh, Robert did this, well, I shouldn't say Robert, that's my son. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> Not Robert, Robert. That just we came just up and came out. It's just a <laughs> no. natural thing. Okay, well. <laughs> no, 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 no. But any, whatever, whoever our husband, we have a tendency of having these conversations um, with family members that actually don't necessarily have been assigned to actually carry that emotion or be able to steward or shamar that information. So not only are we releasing uh, information that's intimate and, and words that are actually not complimentary because we're angry and we're having these conversations with our friends, our family members and others. And mm -hmm. they're, uh, they're not, they haven't been assigned to be the ones that we share this type of information with. So that in itself is, is in the atmosphere. And yes. then, okay. And then Lord and behold, after you leave, they call in a uh, girl, do you know, uh, uh, Apostle Champion was just over here, and she wow. said, "Girl, and she, do you know what she said? He was doing good. I would, I, if I was her, I would leave him. <laughs> you know what I'm wow. saying? Wow, yeah. Uh, I was her, and so we have to be careful about sharing information that's between you and your husband. And I'm not, I know that in the uh, there is safety in in the council, and you know yeah. that, that scripture. I know, right. That. right. However, uh, there also needs to be wisdom to know what that circle looks like and who is in that circle. 
Yeah. It's, it's not for everybody. And we think just because it's family that we can go and pour our hearts out and say what, uh, what you know, uh, Dr. Champion did or what whoever did. And then when we get back together, our family's still looking at our spouses sideways. And then there's, yeah. still, and now they even have uh, an impression because of words now that's in their spirit concerning our mates, yeah. our husbands and our wives. Yeah. Yeah, these are word curses that reproduce themselves, and and at some point, it actually affects families. Then it affects you know family members, and on and on and on. So we have wow. to we have to protect our husbands, and our husbands have to protect us. And even though it's known that women, we are the ones that like to do that, there are husbands that do that too. Um, you know, they go and they be discussing what's going on when, you know, how their wife made them angry. And it is okay. Mm -hmm. I do mm -hmm. believe that uh, there is, God is in safe counsel. However, that has to be determined. And that is by fruit, not just from an emotion. I can yeah. love you, but that don't mean that you are qualified to hear about my business and my marriage. Right, right. And, right. We, and that's a good word. Qualified. Yes. Qualified. Yes. Are you qualified or are, or can you cover yes. as I share with you, as I share with you, my situation, my circumstance, are you qualified to cover me in that area? Will you protect me in that area? Or are you going to go and blab out what I have shared with Come you? Come on now. And you know, what's so painful for me mm. um, that I have my God. husbands um, that really uncover their wives. Mm. Just mad and emotional. What does that mean? What does that mean? Un they uh, uncover when, them. When I say uncover them, now once uh -huh. again, going back to the beginning. Yes. Yeah, my husband is my covering. So that means the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Come on now. So just Cover. covering, protecting, mm -hmm. uh, keeping me from actually becoming victimized by anything outside of the covering. So my so if I'm um if my husband is angry with me. That does not, it should never even be in his heart Come mm. on, to My discredit God. me and to talk about me as though I am uh, a stranger or some common person mm. you know, that is not in covenant with you because it, it because that lets me know. Um, but usually that's just holes in their covering. Mm -hmm. But it's so, but what I don't think they realize, people that do that is that then you wonder why certain fruit is growing all over the place in your marriage because you as the head has actually given uh, the enemy license. Huh? And partnered, access, he partnered. <laughs> and access, partnered, yes. yes, partnered with it to become in and, dis and destroy or bring discord to your covenant. I, you know, it is one of the most wow. disappointing and unfortunate things when I hear uh, of the women and men actually just exposing um, certain information about their mates. And then, you know, to people that really have no right to know these things. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Not even qualified to know. Not qualified and have no right to. You My know, God. Just because you're angry, you're just da 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 so, And every time you talk, it's just words. It's taking life all over the app, all over the place. Why? Oh, say that one again. That was good. Oh. That every was good. time you talk, it's worse. They every time we speak, that every time you speak, it is just taking on a life of its own. So if you wow. tell, me, if you're calling my, if you're calling your wife uh, anything other than her name, guess what? You're you're releasing that thing, and it's taking on life. And it's taking on Ooh, life. Oh Jesus, my I, God! You know, I, God. Think, I think that if people understood the significance and the sanctification. Uh, what God had in mind with holy matrimony, then I, I think that it wouldn't be so many divorces and it wouldn't be, and it probably wouldn't be that many marriages. <laughs> because uh, you're not, come on, you know, come on now, come on. That's it's good. not a joke. This yeah. thing is real and it's spiritual. You know, it's, it's in consummation, the two become one. So, and, and that's what makes it so bad. Not only are you cursing your wife or your husband, you're cursing yourself. Jesus. Wow. For yourself. You can't change what God has put in place. I don't care. Uh, you know, if once you confess Jesus as Lord, 
and um, you actually consummate. Uh, that's a whole nother set. That's a whole, wow. nother, uh, you know, consummation period. People think, but that's like I said, it's a whole nother show. That's a whole nother show. <laughs> you know, uh, people think that they don't, people don't realize and understand that consummation is consummation in God's eyes, you will become as one. And that's why when people be hooking up with Sally Sue and, and Tommy and Jane, you, yeah. you know, you become one with them. Come yeah. On. Yeah, that's good. Come on now. So getting back to the word curses, though, um, you know, men and women of men and women of God, shamar your wives. Men of God, cover your wives. Women, be the help me to your husbands and don't help the enemy to destroy him with words that helps to emasculate him. Wow. You know, don't, um, you know, oh, my God. As a therapist, I, you know, I get privy to a lot of interesting things mm -hmm. and my heart is, it, it, it weeps many times because no one, I believe when people know better, they do better. I believe right. that a lot of times when people actually lash out with words, it's because they're broken and hurt themselves, hurting people, yeah. hurt people. They want- Hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, you want, yeah. You hurt me, so I want to hurt you. And, yeah. and, and not realizing how significant that is tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> not realizing how significant that is tomorrow. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Um, Wow, the word curses, uh, Dr. Champion, and I understand that we're talking holy matrimony, but let's extend it a little bit to parents and children, oh. families. Let's oh extend that goodness. a little bit. Come on now, we hear that. Well. You look yeah. just like your daddy. I can't stand him. You're not going to be nothing just like your daddy. You're going to be, a, uh, you know, not, not virtuous. It's like your mama. <laughs> word curses. <Wow>. You're dumb. <clears throat> yeah. the, you know, yeah. Oh, I yeah. could go on and on and on because I also am a therapist for adolescents and you, if for people may not know that. Wow. And when babies sit in my office and um, when that office, when my environment becomes their safe place, oh my God, what they yeah. share, what they share. Oh my God. And, and it's like, okay, so let's do the family. <laughs> and then I want the whole family in there and let's talk about it. Um, because, you know, it's sad because they take on the identity. See, it's not just word curses. They attach themselves. Mm, you see, yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? And especially yeah. with the babies, they take on the identity mm -hmm. of the, the life of the words. Wow. So yeah, yeah. I even wrote in one of my other books, I can't just take credit for the, the positive things my children do, mm -hmm. I have to find myself in those negative things, those things that I have spoken into existence in their lives. Yeah, I can repent and ask God to forgive me and all of that great stuff. Uh, but there, and, and he will, he'll forgive me. But guess what? It's out there. Right. And there's nothing you can do to take it back. You know, it, it's, it's almost like um, uh, as it, you know, derailing it and deterring it. Uh, now, of course, you know, God is victorious and he has the final say, but it's almost like we invite so much uh, warfare onto ourselves. Yeah, yeah. That's so totally unnecessary. And then we have to repair so much damaged goods. Wow, 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 wow. Our words are powerful, people of God. Yes, they are. Our words are yeah powerful listen this is talkaholics and i am your virtual pastor apostle designate tracy raper and on the line with us uh we have apostle dr carolyn ransom champion uh she is author she is counselor she is educator she is all of the of the above she is therapist and on tonight we pulled out a chapter from her book, When Your Covering is Holy, and we're talking about speaking word curses over our marriages, speaking word curses over holy matrimony, and we even extended it a little bit to uh, speaking word curses in our families and over our children. Our words are powerful, people of God, and I know that we hear this 
We hear this all the time. We hear it so much and so, and it's unfortunate. We hear it so much and so that in a sense, it becomes a cliche Mm -hmm. uh, because we hear it so much. We're hearing it, but we're not taking it serious. Our words are powerful. What we speak, the Bible, if you believe the Bible, the Bible says that there's life and death and the power of the tongue. Ooh, in the power it. of the tongue. Yes. Go ahead. I think you were going to say something. No. I like champion. Just, Life and death are in the power of the tongue. Yes. Okay. Yes. We have to be mindful of the words that we speak over our relationships, in our families, over our marriages. Because as she's already spoken, the two have become now one. Yes. If I speak a curse curse over you, then I curse my family. Mm-hmm. I curse myself as word as mm-hmm. well. These words are see, they are powerful. They grow up. They yes. grow up. And they produce. Yes. Our words are powerful. As women, watch this, y'all. Come as on. women. I want to switch switch screens here for a minute because I need to see Facebook. As women, we are receivers. Come on. Right? Watch this. As women, we are receivers. Okay? So whatever as a covering my husband speaks over me, I receive that in my spirit. And guess what? I produce it. I manifest. All right. So if I'm acting out as a wife, I could be acting out because of what you I have received from you. Am I making sense? Honey, it's in the book. I wrote that. <laughs> Am I, I knew I knew I got it from somewhere. It's not, I, yeah, Am, I, that's it. Am I making sense? That's because it. we are receivers. So if I'm acting out as a wife, could it be? that I'm acting out because of what you have spoken in my spirit. Go ahead, Dr. Champion. No, I, we're just giving birth to it because he has the thought. Giving birth, yes. He, he has the authority, the man, the husband as the covering has the authority to, like you say, insert. He, we actually are recipients of his seed. Yes. And the seed is not just pertaining to um, the birthing of children. His seed is his attitudinal disposition, mm. and his morals, anything, you know. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, see, we don't, we don't understand. We have to look and trace the origin of uh, choices. And a lot of times that spiritual uh, covenant, that spiritual protocol, if you will, it doesn't mm-hmm. change depending on who you are, <laughs> you know? Wow. It doesn't. And yeah. that's, you know, you're not exempt from it. So uh, the word of God tells us that a, a tree reproduces after its own kind. So mm-hmm. whatever you have actually planted into me, I become a tree bearing fruit. <laughs> Your, wow. My, my baby's is going, my baby's going to look just like whatever the seed was come on now wow well listen y'all y'all heard it right here on talkaholics Woo! this is good stuff y'all got to get the book y'all have to get the book you've heard it right here on talkaholics i am your virtual host and pastor apostle desident tracy raper and we have with us i guess on tonight apostle dr carolyn ranson champion and she is the author of when your covering is holy. Listen, you all have got to get the book. You have got to get it. You can find it on amazon.com. Dr. Champion, go ahead again, elaborate on where to find the book. Give us your information. Uh, I thank you all for logging on. Thank you all for tuning in. This has been really, really good. Listen, if you all want Dr. Carolyn Champion, to, to virtually uh, do something for your ministry, uh, a, a, a conference, a, a seminar, uh, maybe you wanna host uh, a Facebook Live 
and get her to elaborate even further uh, on uh, some of the topics that are in her book. Listen, she's going to tell us how to reach her, okay? So, Dr. Champion, tell us about the book. Amen. Tell us how to reach you. Amen. Just in case. Okay. Well, first of all, you can purchase it, Amazon.com. Just put my name in it and it will come up and uh, you can purchase it online. Also, if you need, uh, would like me to actually come and do any type of presentation or speaking engagement, you can actually contact me at mokl.consult at gmail.com. And I will, uh, exp my assistant will make sure that I expeditiously uh, respond to you. M-O-K-L consult at gmail.com. M-O-K-L consult at gmail.com. And how can we find you on Amazon again, uh, Dr. Uh, just, Champion? Just put in Dr. Carolyn Ransom Champion or when your covering is holy and, and it'll come right up. When your covering is holy and that holy is H-O-L-E-Y. E Not Y. When your, exactly. When your covering is holy, H-O-L-E-Y. Why? Dr. Champion, I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Listen, y'all, she's got to get on a flight tomorrow. Yeah. I appreciate you doing this. Thank um, you. And I know it's been a busy week and I know you're trying to get to that family vacation. So yeah. listen, I appreciate you. I appreciate you all that are on uh, Facebook Live. Thank you for logging on. Thank you for tuning in to Talkaholics. And I am your host, uh, Apostle Death. President Tracy Raper and I guess has been Apostle Dr. Carolyn Ranson Champion. Uh, I love all of you all. I see you, Elizabeth. I see you, Gail. I see you, Renee. I see you, Janine. I see all of you all on the line. We pray that this has been a blessing to you. Watch your mouth, people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Watch your mouth. Your words are powerful. Watch the words that are coming out of your mouth. Yes. Watch the words that you speak over your mate, over your husband, over your wife, over your children. Your words are powerful. And as Dr. Champion has taught us on tonight, that our words are seeds. And whatever you speak, it will reproduce. Yes. All right. Whatever you speak, it will reproduce. Whatever you speak, it will reproduce. All right. So Elizabeth said she has really enjoyed this. Thank, Thank you, me. honey. It has been a blessing. Hey, Cheryl, I see you all. Listen, even for those of you that are going to watch the playback, we love you. We love you. We love you because we do understand that you don't have to take the time to yeah. watch the playback. So we appreciate you. You've worked, you've done whatever, and now you're sitting down and you're enjoying the playback. We appreciate you. Listen, share this live feed. Share it to your pages. Share it to married, married couples. Share it to uh, your family. Share, share, share. Let it go viral. We want to be a blessing to the kingdom. Yes. It, this is all about kingdom building, okay? And we want to be a blessing to the kingdom. So we love you, we love you, we love you. We got to let Dr. Champion go so she could get a good night rest. Dr. Champion, give us closing remarks, prayer, speak to the people in closing and pray us out. Okay. I just want to encourage you to make sure that you speak blessings. Speak blessings uh, because the blessings that make rich and add no sorrow um, take away the enemy's power by allowing us to curse ourselves because the enemy can't curse what God is blessed, but we can curse ourselves uh, by wow. not watching what we speak out of our mouth. Amen. Wow. So, Father God, I just thank you for once again an opportunity to glorify you. I thank you, Father, for uh, you preordained this session and this time before we even knew it would exist, Lord God. So we thank you, Father God, and we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. I pray, Father, that this word becomes a seed for marriages and relationships globally, Lord God, that they will be able to understand that you truly are the author and the finisher of holy matrimony. I thank you, Lord God. I pray that they will even 
even begin to get even greater revelation of as how one becomes two, uh, two becomes one, Lord God, I'm sorry, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father God, uh, for the blessings that make rich and act no sorrow. I bless every family, Lord God, that would even listen to this, where the enemy has tried to come in and sow discord, Lord God. I thank you that your authority will be the only authority, Lord God, that will rest upon their lives, Father God. So I bless the host. I bless Bishop Apostle Tracy Raper, Lord God. I pray for her and her family. I thank you that everything she touches will prosper in the name of Jesus. I yes, pray. God. Every yes. spirit of backlash and retaliation yes. that would yes. even try to come, Lord God, and yes. hinder her. I yes. thank you that you called her to be a change, a world changer, Lord God. So I just bless her, Father, and yes. we give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, listen, this is it. I thank you all for logging on. Thank you for tuning in. And until we meet again, you all be blessed in Jesus' name. Good night. Good night.